Today, I will show you how to use the DRV A316R EVM out of the box to spin a brushless DC motor using sensorless field oriented control. The DRV A316R EVM is an evaluation module for the DRV A316 three phase BLDC motor driver with an integrated buck regulator and current sensing. The DRV A316R version uses a SPI interface whereas the DRV A316T version of the device uses a hardware interface. The EVM is configured by default for the DRV A316R, but is also compatible with the DRV A316T by replacing the IC and modifying a few resistors. For this demo, you will need the DRV A316R EVM, the Launch XL F2849C C2000 launch pad, a brushless DC motor, a micro USB cable, and a flat head screwdriver. Let's begin. To start, connect the motor phase outputs to phases A, B, and C of connector J5 by using the flat head screwdriver to screw the phase wires into the screw terminals. Next, connect the power supply in one of two ways. If you want to enable reverse polarity protection on the EVM, Connect the positive of the power supply to VBAT and negative of the power supply to PGND or PGround. If you wish to bypass the reverse polarity protection, connect the positive of the supply to the VM test point and connect ground to PGround. If using a Hall censored base application, connect the digital Hall signals, Hall power, and Hall ground into connector J7. You can use your finger or the flathead screwdriver to push down and connect each wire into the socket. Ensure the Hall Power Select Jumper J8 is set to 3.3 volts Hall Power from the buck or external for an external Hall Power Supply. Finally, ensure that the VREF slash ILIM Jumper J1 is set to VREF in the left position to provide a 3 volt voltage reference for the current sense amplifiers from the EVM. Once the EVM settings are finalized, connect the DRV A316R EVM to the top half of the Launch XL F28049C. The motor connector should be facing the top on the same side as the micro USB cable of the launch pad. Now turn on the power supply. Using 12 volts and a 2 amp current limit is a good recommended starting setup for lower power motors. Plug in the micro USB cable into the launch pad and into the computer. Now we will connect the hardware to the GUI for sensorless field oriented control using application firmware from the motor control software development kit. Go to dev.ti.com gallery and search for DRV A316. Click on the DRV A31X EVM in suspend universal GUI to access the GUI. Accept the README that appears and wait for the GUI to flash the program into the MCU. When the program is finished, the hardware connected message appears at the bottom left corner of the GUI. Begin by clicking Enable System. This runs a brief 50% duty cycle output waveform on all three output phases to calibrate offsets in the hardware. When the calibration is complete, the offset cal checkbox disappears. You'll see the GUI has calculated the bus voltage and voltage and current offsets. Next, configure the number of pole pairs in the motor and press enter. Another parameter is the estimation current for motor resistance and inductance. This should be set to about 10 to 20% of the maximum motor current. Once configured, click on the run button. For the next couple of minutes, the algorithm will automatically identify motor parameters such as online motor phase resistance, direct and quadrature inductance, and motor flux. This motor identification algorithm is great for identifying and saving motor parameters in firmware without any measurement tools needed. Once the motor identification is complete, the motor identified LED will turn bright green. 
Click on Run again to spin the motor at the configured speed reference called Speed Ref. This input sets the electrical speed of the motor in hertz and will accelerate to that speed at a fixed acceleration. To stop the motor, simply uncheck the Run box and the motor will coast to a stop. The DRV8316R EVM is also compatible with the DRV8316T hardware variant. This replaces the SPI bus with five settings, buck voltage select or VSEL underscore BK, PWM and current limit mode or mode, output slew rate or slew, overcurrent slash synchronous rectification or OCP slash SR, and the current sense amplifier gain, or gain. To configure the DRV8316R EVM for the DRV8316T, you must, one, replace the DRV8316R with the DRV8316T, two, remove the SPI resistors R9 through R12, three, populate the desired hardware variant resistor settings in the hardware variant resistors box. You can use the EVM in the same manner as the SPI variant to spin a brushless DC motor using sensorless field-oriented control. Repeat the steps as shown before to configure the motor poles and estimation currents to identify and spin the motor. Thanks for watching the DRV8316R EVM getting started video. For more information, visit the DRV8316R EVM and Launch XL F28049C tool pages to order the evaluation hardware and start spinning brushless DC motors in 10 minutes or less with sensorless FOC. Have a good day.